going on variable traders brendan knee here let's take a look at pcg now this stock was in play since last week we saw massive gap downs a lot of average to range and just multiple point moves on the daily and then pulling away from the nine so a lot of potential here so what i wanted to note was low pre-market was around this area here and i wanted to see after it opened what it would do around the area whether it would lose it or hold it and move up uh, to test other levels so what I noticed was huge opening range, so not great, but it did close above view up. So I like that for taking it long. And I just wanted to wait a little longer because this is just too much range to really know which direction. It's just too volatile. So I saw the second candle looking very bullish, uh, close above view up below the 20 on the five. So not in the clear yet for long. And uh, so I wanted to wait for a pullback here. Just wasn't sure what it was doing. This was just happening too quick here. And so I got it in just a brown view up thinking, okay, let's take a, um, you know, first low could be 23, then these other moving averages, and this maybe this 50 on the on the five minute here, and had a stop uh, just over here, which was kind of like a reverse ABCD pattern that I noticed that if it lost this level, which happened to be the level in the pre market here and the low of this previous five minute candle, I thought that was a great technical level to get out if the um, the trade broke down and did not hold that level. It did crack a little below. It was just like it was just trying to break all those stops and uh, fortunately it got stopped out because I just there wasn't sense to be in it Andrew I think even got up before that but I wanted to wait to see what I would do exactly at that level and unfortunately I had to take my rules and got out here with a loss but my initial risk award was about about one to one and then potentially two to one so it was within my uh, just how I take trades and so that was disappointing took a hundred shares there but waited a few minutes, was watching level two, seeing what it was doing around WeWap, and a lot of just a lot of action around these moving averages here. But it was still holding this level on the one minute and on the five minute, it did not crack low on the next candle. And just these two candles here being bought up instantly on the level two, huge wicks that were just showing strength at this this level here. And I said, okay, let's try. Maybe it just needed more time to consolidate on this this kind of larger ABCD pattern. Saying let's try to if it loses this level again then um, I will get stopped out twice. So I had about a 10 cent or 15 cent stop here. So much tighter stop in terms of my entry. So I got in right there after I got bounced off that level. So all right, it's really holding it. Now my potential award is the 23 area, the 200 EMA and the 200 SMA, which is also around the 50 EMA on the five minutes. So I said, you know, a potential risk award of, you know, five or six to one here. It was just, massive risk awards so i couldn't pass up this opportunity uh after holding this level here and what i did was just got out stuck my rules got out at my uh preset levels here and just scaled up three times said you know that was a whole point move almost from where i entered and i didn't really want to i didn't think it was going to go much higher than that it could have but i just said that was you know it was a massive move that i got and i took 200 shares so my losses were made back and then uh, made back about $150. So I lost about 50 bucks first trade and made about 150 on the second trade or so. So it goes to show you can take two trades, be wrong 50% of the time, but the quality of your setups and how you take those trades determine whether you're profitable or not. And uh, because I was more careful, had a better entry here, I was able to come out green.